reading Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Gulp and the Dragon is a special interactive adventure book, and in this video you can listen to me reading through the story, reading through the different paths or to all the possible endings, or uh, probably the more fun way, Click on the annotations on the video at any moment to choose your own path through the story. Ready to start? Let's begin. Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Gulp was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Gulp to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Gulp, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Gulp took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass, where he found a cold cave, a windy cave and a narrow trail. Gulp stepped into the frozen cave, but his Nord blood kept him warm. A smelly tunnel climbed ahead of him, a wind howled from another to his left, a ladder was nearby as well. Following the stench, Gulp found a filthy orc. The orc snarled and charged Gulp with his spiked club. The orc cackled as his club splintered Gulp's shield and smashed into his face. There Gulp died, and the orc had soup from his bones. The end. You can click on the annotation to go back to the beginning and choose another path in the adventure, or continue listening as I read through uh, other possible paths and endings in this video. Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Gulp was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Gulp to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Gulp, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Gulp took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass where he found a cold cave, a windy cave, and a narrow trail. Climbing up, Gulp found a camp. He met a wise man who shared bread and showed two paths to the dragon's lair. One went through the hills, the other through a marsh. Treading through the marsh, Gulp discovered a wailing ghost blocking his way. Gulp swung his axe as hard as he could, but the ghost hardly seemed to notice. The ghost drifted into Gulp and deep sleep took him over, from which he never awoke. The end. Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Gulp was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Gulp to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Gulp, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Gulp took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass where he found a cold cave, a windy cave, and a narrow trail. A strong gust of wind blew Gulp's torch out and knocked him into a pit where it split his head and died. The end. Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. 
Golf was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Golf to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Golf, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Golf took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass, where he found a gold cave, a windy cave and a narrow trail. Golp stepped into the frozen cave, but his Nord blood kept him warm. A smelly tunnel climbed ahead of him, a wind howled from another to his left, a ladder was nearby as well. Following the stench, Golp found a filthy orc. The orc snarled and charged Golp with his spiked club. Before the orc could strike, Golp swung his mighty axe, the orc's head and club fell uselessly to the floor. Golp stepped onto a rocky hill. He could see the dragon sleeping below, and a tavern off a road nearby. Golp found the lair where the dragon slept. Tendrils of smoke wafting from its nostrils, the air made Golp's eyes sting, and he nearly slipped on the bones of men, picked clean. The beast lay on its side, the throat and belly both waiting targets. Golp crept towards the belly of the beast, but no sooner had he taken his eyes off the head of the beast than it snapped him up and hate eat him whole, axe and all. The end. Golp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Golp was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Golp to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Golp, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Golp took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass, where he found a gold cave, a windy cave and a narrow trail. Climbing up, Golf found a camp. He met a wise man who shared bread and showed two paths to the dragon's lair. One went through the hills, the other through a marsh. Treading through the marsh, Golf discovered a wailing ghost blocking his way. Golp remembered a story his gran told him and tossed two gold jits for the coast, and it faded away, allowing him to pass. Leaving the march behind him, Golp could see the dragon's lair nearby, as well as a small, welcoming tavern. Golp stopped at the tavern to rest before fighting the dragon. High elves ran the tavern, however, and poisoned his mead so they could steal his gold. The end. Gulp and the Dragon, an adventure for Nord boys. Gulp was a brave Nord warrior. One day his chief asked Gulp to slay an evil dragon that threatened their village. Go through the mountain pass, Gulp, his chief said. You will find the dragon on the other side. Gulp took his favorite axe and shield and walked to the pass, where he found a gold cave, a windy cave and a narrow trail. Climbing up, Golf found a camp. He met a wise man who shared bread and showed two paths to the dragon's lair. One went through the hills, 
the other through a marsh. Golp stepped onto a rocky hill. He could see the dragon sleeping below and a tavern off a road nearby. Golp found the lair where the dragon slept, tendrils of smoke wafting from its nostrils. The air made Golp's eyes sting and he nearly slipped on the bones of men, picked clean. The beast lay on its side, the throat and belly both waiting targets. The head of the axe lodged itself in the tough scaly neck of the beast. It wailed and thrashed, but Gulp held on and eventually soared through the neck, killing the beast. Gulp returned home victorious and his village was never bothered by the dragon again. The end. And that also concludes this video. I thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to click on the annotation for another path into adventure if you want, or just continue on the playlist with Ingvar's adventures. Thanks for watching.